Here's what's new in Raiden Emma Color version 2. The tool is now responsive to your window size and takes up less space than the previous version. For instance, you can now collapse parts of the UI to save even more screen space, and the text buttons are now replaced by icons. In the settings, you can find the meaning of the icons and you can look up tutorials and ask for support if there's anything wrong. In the new version, the swatch numbers are hidden so that you can see your complete color palette clearly. But you can also turn on the swatch numbers here if you really need them. This is the biggest new feature in Ray. As you may know, Ray applies a number to a color property and then that number is connected to a color in the color palette using an expression link. The expression links are great for changing colors all at once, but it makes the colors in your project rely on the color palette composition. And some of us just simply don't like having expressions in our projects. So in this version, you have the option to turn off the expression links so that Ray can also function as a normal color palette, giving you a normal color value. The scan feature is now integrated with the plus button. To create a color palette, just select a bunch of layers, comps, or color properties and press the plus button to create a color palette out of them. If you don't have any color selected, you will get the default color palette. You can also hold the option key while you press the plus button and this will give you a default palette no matter what you have selected. Color palettes now have unique names based on your project name and it's now possible to rename color palettes without breaking the expression links. This is great for collaborating with others, so you never run into the situation that you have two different color palettes with the same name. The import and export ASC buttons are now hidden in the plus button together with some shortcuts. Because I found that using ASC files can result in having inaccurate colors in some cases. So I highly recommend using the following ways to share colors. You can reduce the project and save an After Effects file with just that color palette comp in it or you can use an FFX file to store the color controls as a preset. Just select all the color controls on the first layer in your color palette comp and then save them as an FFX file to your presets library. Now the file will show up in the effects panel. The fastest way to get your colors from Illustrator into After Effects is to just convert the Illustrator file to shapes. You can do this by using the create shapes from vector layer function and then create a color palette out of that new shape layer. That's it, if you have questions, leave them in the comments and there will be more advanced tutorials, so make sure you subscribe to this channel to receive updates for those.